Smash Ultimate has over 70 beloved characters from all over the video game universe now. Each of these characters have tons of moves between all their aerials, special moves, jabs, and tilts. Woo! All of these moves make them unique amongst the other characters on the roster. But naturally, if you have, let's say, over a thousand moves in a game, crazy, there are going to be moves that are bound to be lackluster compared to the others. You're going to find on this list that the first couple of moves we point out are actually from characters that are brand new to Smash, then followed by some more obvious characters. Nobody's main is safe. <laughs> Here's what we think are some of the 10 worst moves in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Alright, so here's number one, Palatina's Nair. <laughs> uh, just kidding, guys. Alright, so Isabel's jab takes the first spot. Our favorite secretary was one of the most beloved new fighters to come to Smash Ultimate, but her jab is one of the worst jabs in the game. Her toy hammer is as weak as it looks, with minimal damage and knockback. While other characters have jabs that may be multi-hits, Isabel's jab is a single hit move that even shoves the opponent backwards, pushing them out of range to be hit. Try starting your neutral game with her forward and back air instead, keeping her at a safe distance from harm. Then we have King K. Rool's up air. If you look at just his up tilt, you think K. Rool would have a great juggle game, right? I mean, the only thing that could just mess it up is if his up air had over a second of end lag and a tight hitbox, right? <laughs> Oh, and in addition, the crafty crocodile launches himself upwards during the move, making it hard to pressure platforms with. So, at the end of the day, while it's difficult to trade with, hey, you can always choose not to. Third, we have Belmont's extended jab. After holding down the A button, after the first hit of Simon and Richter's Belmont's jab, you get this. We're not quite sure about the exact use of this move, but it seems like a good way to troll your friends. In all seriousness though, <laughs> this attack has weak damage and low range compared to the rest of the Belmont move kit. Getting up and personal with the Belmonts is not their most ideal playstyle. In fact, you're better off keeping your opponent away with one of your projectiles and then whipping their stocks away. While Ridley wasn't too big for Smash after all, his down air may be one of the worst down airs in the game. Now before you get on this guys, yes, we know that the first hitbox can spike, okay? But not only is there a good chunk of end lag on the move, his down air also sends your opponent pretty far away from you, making it a lot harder to follow up after the move hits. Remember guys, you don't always have to come down with the move. If you're scared, you can always just retreat to the ledge and reset yourself. Don't be too shocked, let's discuss Little Max Recovery. Well, we all know this one thing was coming. Let's give the move some credit though. Little Max Recovery is one of his only potential aerial KO options out of shield. But we all know that Little Max Recovery is just, just bad. We don't even need to go on a long rant why it's bad, it's, it's just bad. Okay, so we're still not done here, let's talk about Little Max Aerials. I guess since we're on the subject, we can just group Little Max Aerials into all one section, okay? Let's just face it, Little Mac is a world-class boxer and was meant to play on the ground. Jumping with this character in neutral is just asking to get comboed in the first place. So why even try his aerials? But if you guys want the details, Little Max aerials are certainly limited in damage, range, and don't even combo into each other. Keep Little Mac where he belongs, on the ground. Next is Samus Up Smash. Nintendo's favorite bounty hunter is so cool that she gets two characters on the roster. We're talking Power Suit Samus here, not Zero Suit Samus. The difference between these two characters on the tier list is pretty big, so it makes sense that Samus falls a little behind. We're gonna look at our Up Smash. The move itself has 11 frames of startup, but the whole move lasts 56 frames. But the most important part of why this move isn't the greatest and that your opponent can actually DI out of it and avoid getting hit. We're really not feeling Shulk's down smash. While Shulk is considered one of the characters in Ultimate with the most untapped potential, he does have one move that is pretty dull compared to the rest of his kit. His down smash starts up on frame 18, but the entire move is 82 frames. You're just asking to get hit if it doesn't connect. Not only do the frames hold him down, the physical hitbox is not quite aligned with the animation of the move itself. Yoshi's Egg Roll is next. Yoshi is known for his strong aerial game. Yoshi can keep you up in the air for an extended amount of time and cover most landing options you have. But then you have ugh, this. With its 32 frames of startup, you can easily avoid Yoshi by jumping away or even hitting him out of it. Stick to throwing X. It's a much better and safer option. Ganondorf is on the list next thanks to his up tilt. 
So, we know Ganondorf has become a beloved character of the Ultimate Roaster after Nairo's showing of him at Collision 2019. <laughs> but while the King of Evil hits hard, he's limited by his speed and weight. Ganondorf's up tilt has that catastrophic damage for sure, but you have a good two seconds to just jump or roll away from him and punish him accordingly. If we're looking at the numbers, Ganondorf's up tilt has 60 frames of startup, and that doesn't even account for the rest of the 35 frames in ending. So guys, we hope you enjoyed our list of some of the worst moves in Ultimate. <laughs> Did we miss one? Let us know in the comments. For more videos on Smash Ultimate, hey, check out the rest of our guys on ProGuys.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and be sure to enable notifications so you know exactly when our newest videos launch, covering all the topics and techniques you need to level up your game.